Alright guys, it's Arsenal Roberts here, bringing you something a little bit different from Farming Simulator. I know, shock horror, but Eugen Systems have been updating Wargame European Escalation for quite a while now. They've added lots of free DLCs in patches, and they've been really, really good. And in the latest patch, they've added a whole new campaign scenario called Fatal Era, where we play as the Americans, which are supposedly the good guys in this Cold War. Because this is in the Cold War, we play as both, both the... Warsaw Pact as well as NATO Nations. You can choose between them in between the campaign missions. But we are going to be playing as NATO, I guess, as America to be exact. So let's start playing Fatal Era, a ride of the Black Horse. The cutscenes before are actually rather lengthy. They've added some new things as well. So it's kind of cool what they've done. Let's go ahead right into the mission. Let's watch the, watch the cutscenes because they're always very interesting. And I try to be quiet. This is a real-time strategy game for anyone that doesn't know yet. May 26, 1972. The USA and USSR signed the SALT agreement, restricting the number of nuclear weapons. Tensions seem to decrease between the two superpowers. 1977. Leveraging a flaw in these agreements, the Soviets increased the number of tactical missiles along the Iron Curtain, directly threatening Western European capitals. June 18, 1979. Despite the Euromissiles crisis, talks continue and lead to the SALT II agreement. But when an American senator reveals that a Soviet combat brigade is deployed in Cuba, Congress refuses to ratify SALT II as long as the purpose of this unit has not been clarified by Moscow. November 9, 1979. It is in this context of renewed tensions that a NORAD technician runs a test program on a system aimed at detecting Soviet nuclear strikes, but forgot to switch the computer into simulation mode. At 3 p.m., NORAD computers start displaying some 250 Soviet missile launches. The White House is immediately notified, but President Carter is nowhere to be found. It falls to his national security advisor, Zbigniew Brzezinski, to deal with the situation. Brzezinski knows he only has six to seven minutes to decide a response in case the attack is confirmed. While waiting for more information, he orders the B-52s to take off and the strategic missiles to warm up. A few minutes later, NORAD calls the advisor back to inform him that 2,200 Soviet strategic missiles have been detected. This is an all-out nuclear attack. The American response is ordered. No one has even thought of using the red phone to directly contact the Kremlin. When the oversight is finally discovered a few minutes later, the ICBMs are automatically destroyed on flight. But it is too late to cancel the conventional strikes. Fighting has begun all along the Iron Curtain. Oh, well, I guess you could say that escalated quickly. November 9th, 1979. In the Fulda Gap, Sentag American German forces managed to break the Soviet front. But their spearhead advances too far and is struck by an enemy counterattack near Velkehausen. Our recon troops have been annihilated to the last man. It left us completely blind. In their last message, our scouts stated that large enemy armored columns were heading directly for our position. We must hold our ground and inflict enough casualties to stop their assault. To achieve this, you have to use our M901 ITW. Their missiles can destroy any tank at long range, but their armor is weak and their ammo is limited. Our M60A3 patents have better armor. They can form a strong first line of defense. Light armored vehicles such as the Martyr and M113 can be used as scout units. They also have anti-air capabilities. You have to choose between several strategies. You may deploy your missile launchers in open fields to take advantage of their long range. You can also use your infantry to take the town in Echo this would grant us control of a strategic crossroad and could disrupt enemy supply lines. You may choose your strategy, but you need to hold at all costs. Alrighty, so we've got to hold our positions. As you can see, this game looks very, very good. We've got a commander's overview. 
we can just score more destruction points than the enemy within 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure this type of victory is, or victory condition is new in one of the DLCs which came out a couple of months ago now. But it is good that I have been upgrading this game a lot. I love game companies that upgrade games for free without having to like pay through the nose with uh, money for DLC. So there's, if any of you guys don't know, there's these capture points that give you points. Every couple of seconds, I think it's every four seconds you get points. So we'll only get two points every four seconds. And over here where these arrows are is where we can get reinforcements in. So our reinforcements are going to be coming down through this road. We've got 1,200 points. Let's go ahead and start buying some stuff. Uh, let's see how many command vehicles we have so we can capture some new areas. Okay, I'm going to need... We can only get this helicopter. We can only get one. Really? That is pretty bad. We can only capture one area. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, what we'll have to do is move... Well, get one of our helicopters over here. Now we'll need to buy some tanks. So they wanted me to get the M9, uh, what was it called? It was like the M9, I, I don't know, something. I can't see it though. Maybe I should buy in the armory. There we go, we can buy some more things, more command vehicles. Do I have any points for this? How do we pay for this? I already have it. I already have all the American things, don't I? Apart from this, but that's not a, Capture vehicle. We need one of these capture vehicles to capture stuff. Okay. I'm not exactly sure why we can barely capture anything. Oh well. We've already got one vehicle that can capture, which that sucks. That's really bad. I guess that would challenge us a bit. But we'll buy some starships. Buy a fair amount of them. I'll put them on this road. Buy some patents. Patents are the creme de la creme. They're very, very strong, but the uh, they don't. I don't think they have as good missiles. They're very good uh, in terms of defense. We also get some vehicles. Let's get some. Um, what are these tank destroyers? Let's get the M150s. Yep. Buy a couple of them. We'll move them out into the bushes over here. We'll put them near Delta. I think that's what we'll capture Delta next. Let's move this command vehicle over here. Okay. How do we move it? Did I just literally get rid of it? I think I literally did. Try it once more. There we go. All right. So apart from my usual dampness, I think we'll, we're setting everything up quite well. We've got lots of our tanks over here. I'm going to have to use my combat helicopter and move it down here um so i think off we can go start the battle we've got 20 minutes you guys go over here you guys i'll tell you to move fast over to delta i think delta is going to be important but our problem is that we can only capture one area or two areas sorry it makes me very sad all right are you talking We've got some infantry fighting vehicles as well, which is good. So that means we could be able to capture Echo. All that we have to do is get more points than the enemy. They already start off with a uneven score of 800. Completely unfair. Not much I can do about that though. Now let's tell you to move fast over here as well. Move fast only means that they'll go through roads if they can. As you can see, the ground is also very hilly and all that stuff. So. You can also get bogged down if you go through these little forest bushes type stuff. But the map is really, really good. I've got to admit, I think most of you guys will agree with me there. The map is damn good. You can just see the countryside and then you can just zoom right in there. See each and every little grain of whatever grows out here. Wheat. Looks really good. All right, so we haven't seen any enemies yet. There are no difficulty settings either. Okay, we've got Jupiters, which are just supply trucks. Yeah, I think it's time to go ahead and tell this guy just to land over here. There we go. Someone got bogged down. Something happened. For a couple of seconds, then everything was okay. So off they go. I know most of you guys like when I zoom in. There you go. What 
is this? This is the starships. Okay, we've got a uh, battalion of four. Some guy got stuck in mud for a bit. They're all good. We're going to have to start moving these guys out and about. So, move our tank destroyers here. Let's all push them over here. Infantry fighting vehicles, you can stay behind. Let's actually okay. move some tank destroyers over here. The only good enemy okay. Well, do we have any anti-aircraft missiles or anything? Um, infantry fighting? No, I don't care about infantry fighting vehicles. No, we don't have any anti-aircraft vehicles. A bit unfortunate right there. The infantry, infantry. Move our patents out and about. Let's move them into an offensive position. Move our tank destroyers over here as well. Definitely like the way things are. So these are infantry fighting. We don't have any infantry in here, but if we find any infantry, we should be able to take him. Still rather quiet on the enemy front. But we captured Delta finally, so that means we're getting six points every four seconds. Meaning we'll be able to get more toys soon. There we go. So we'll load it up. Let's have a look. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty simply destroyed. Easy 25 points. Also, you do have to worry about things like petrol or your fuel, as well as your ammo. You do have limited amounts. It's not like a typical real-time strategy, which is very arcadey. It's a pretty good game, this. But you are really, literally a commander in uh, Cold War. So I'm just going to hold these positions. They're going to come to us. We've got some more points for some tanks, so let's go get a lot of Aidens. Let's put them all up here. And I start. I have to start spamming them out here. Ooh, something's happening over here. What's happening? Are you guys worried? No, optical failure. Okay. It's going to take two minutes on that guy. Whoa! We're getting things destroyed left, right, and center. We better make sure we do a little bit better. Let's check these guys out. Oh, the fire also spreads, I should say that. This is really, really good. The ground completely shakes. Oh, look at those. Bullets fly out. Guys almost out of fuel already, really. He come out, guys. He comes out here on this side. Completely obliterated. Gotta love the fire. Sometimes it spreads, sometimes it doesn't. But we're gonna make sure we keep an eye out on everyone. How many points? We're catching up. That's what's important. Okay, I don't like the way you guys are losing your health. How about we go for some vehicles? We'll go for some anti-tank ones. Um, I want a tank with some good visibility. Some optics. I think they all have pretty piss poor optics though. Cool. Oh, these guys are routing. And they're on fire as well. They're almost all lost their health. How about I'm going to move my Come out new vehicles that I bought previously. Let's move our Jupiters over here, which are our supply trucks. Oh, we got a bit of enemies over here. Let's go for let's go for some anti-tank vehicles. Over here and go for some tanks. We'll go for some starships. Exactly sure what their supply truck was doing all the way over here. These angles are just so good. All right, how are we for points? We've almost all caught up. Beautiful. Ooh, they've captured hotel. Hopefully, they don't capture golf. 
they capture golf, then that means they'll be able to send in reinforcements this way. Which could lead to quite a bit of problems. What are you guys doing sending in your Urals? People, man. People. The AI. There's no difficulty settings either, so it's just... Whatever they want, really. Is there any hill over here? Oh, no, we're up top. That's good. There is a hill. And we're higher. We're in a elevated little plane, are we? Oh, maybe, no. Actually, we're not. Forget I said anything. Oh, helicopter. No, 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 no. Actually, we don't, we don't have to actually shoot you. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. They become our guys. <laughs> if they come within range, I'm not exactly sure what the AI is thinking. What are they doing just sending out all these machines? I guess we can destroy them for some extra points. There we go. Please shoot, please shoot. This is not good. I don't have any anti-aircraft vehicles there, do I? Absolutely nothing. First world problems. I think the starships have anti-aircraft stuff. It's gonna take a while for them to get here. What's up? What are you uh, there's some more starships coming up. Happening over here. You got something for me? Bring it on. What do you move up? That's, there we go. We should have been doing way before. Okay, now you can attack. Oh, we got a critical, critical hit. And all his stuff is empty. He wasted all his ammo. Idiot. Where is that shooting on? He's still over here. Yeah, he's routing. He's almost giving up. Oh, 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 oh. We've got tanks over here. Gotta watch out for that. They're coming within range. Alright. Got a couple of supply trucks over here. Let's... Oh, these guys are all running out of ammo, are they? No? Oh no, that, I think it symbolizes that they're all filled up, pretty much. Okay. How are these guys going? They're still good. Yeah, so they're all being filled up. We've got our patrons over here. Oh, there's a bit more enemies coming up. We've always caught up in points as well. We're halfway through the mission so far. I think I need to move these. Okay. Oh. No, they're still coming down very much from the west. So there's more coming up from here now. Oh, oh. There go the patents. Get these guys out of the way. Oh, there is a heck of a lot of you guys coming up here. Everything's flying everywhere. Right, we've got a lot of guys over here. We've got a plane, a helicopter. Let's try to get in range with him. There we go. We're in range. We're getting quick. Helicopters are just annoying as hell. We're winning, but it is really close. Um, I think I'm gonna have to move these guys back. Let's retreat. Just so they come in within range. These guys come within range of you. We'll draw them in. I think mean, that's a rather ingenious commander plan. Look at all this crap. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. What's over here? These are all the uh, dead carcasses of the tanks before. Oh, wow. No wonder we're beating him now. Only just. It's extremely close. Okay, you guys keep doing that. Yep, we did draw him in very well. 
need to watch out what's happening over here though. Yes, you're, you want to retreat? You're routing. So they're closing in on us. These guys are all getting ready to attack. Very good. I haven't really been doing anything with my infantry fighting vehicle because I haven't seen it. Oh, there's some infantry. No. no, that's an infantry fighting vehicle as well. There is no infantry so far. It is so close. It is ridiculously close. All right, you guys all need to come up over here and attack. I think I've got a uh, supply truck somewhere here. No, I don't. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll bring them all in here. There we go, there's a supply truck. Get him out of the way. Get him well out of the way. Uh, oh, we got lots of points. This means it's time to get some starships. I heck of a lot of them and just send them all out over here. Alright, they're breaching my lines. No good. Well, we're losing in points. There's only six minutes left. As long as we send in our guys over here. Now, what are you patents doing over here? You should be attacking. There you go, you attack them. I think we're going to lose these guys. Should make. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to send you out over here because you're you ran out of ammo. Is he gonna make it? No, I don't think he is. I really don't think this guy's gonna make it out. Yep. Come on, get him good. And another starship over here. We've got some reinforcements coming up anytime now. Bringing our patents. Let's move out rules just so they don't get extra points for it. Now, you guys should be attacking. Stuck in the mud. What are your orders, sir? How about you come up over here? Get out of my way. What are your orders, sir? Bring it on. This is gonna be so close. I'm getting rather stressed out. So many tanks everywhere. T-55s against a couple of starships. Oh, and, and these three are routing. That's a no, not good progress. I guess it's better routing than being destroyed. All right, let's send in some more patents. There we go. Those, those are some good hits. Oi. You need to run. You need to run away quickly. Please run before they shoot. Just spit it out. At the ready, sir. Bring it on. Yes, sir. Engaging cost. You've got something for me? What's the plan? Where can we capture? Let's capture Fox Truck. I haven't captured golf. I'm really happy with that. There's four minutes left. We're about 200 points ahead now. <laughs> this guy's lost his main uh, source of ammo. So God knows what he's using. He's using his machine gun against some tanks. There's some heavy, heavy firepower right there. Ooh, these guys go attack them. Let's send everyone out. You guys should be sent out as well. All right, very good. Yeah, I think we got this in the bag. We're 300 points ahead now. We can get a little bit more confident. Ooh, they're hitting some guys over here. Some tank destroyers, I think they are. We just haven't scattered them out yet. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of these guys over here. 
It's gonna be tense. Are you talking to me? Okay. Oh, no, we need a line of sight on that. All right. How about you move over here? Move over here as well. What are they all doing over here? What are they thinking? We're just gonna hold out. Please hold out. What's here? Infantry? No. Anti aircraft artillery? Oh wow, they're just spamming everything at us. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get some easy points over here. We're trying to make sure they don't start attacking us by time. By two and a half minutes, we're gonna have two and a half minutes to hold out. Seventy two A's or something. What are you doing? You're infantry fighting, infantry fighting. You're a tank destroyer, you should be shooting. What are you doing over here? I'm happy with the way everything else is going. Let's get some more items. Send them out here. Oh, now these guys should be attacking you. You should be attacking them as well. And you should be attacking them as well. Alright, it's so close. If we lose, it'll be a nail biter. And see him in. Have a closer look at the action. Wow, that's a lot. We're losing a fair few guys. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Am I doing the right moves? There's a question. You should be attacking as well. Hide behind those bushes. They can be stealthed, ar stealthed around a bit. Oh wow, this is close. Still 400 point lead, but... Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. While they're routing. Try it again, good. Oh, whatever. Oh. No. Got more of our guys routing. You need to attack them. Yeah, we've won. All right, there's no way they can beat us now. I don't think patterns are, these patterns are worth that many points. They're the only guys that they can get, we can get killed right now. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, here we go. Shooting through the trees. Fire and computer reboot. Flies close. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Boys, we have one. Seven. Six. Finally. Let's have a look at from their side. Yes. Capital. Oh, right. Keep at least one command unit. That was goal. I guess that was a bonus objective. So I completed that. Oh. There we go. That was quite tense. A bit scary there at the end as well. Got way too close after a bit, but we did all right. Since there's no difficulty level, I guess we did okay. Um, so we can go through all the different points. We pretty much didn't get any secondary objectives. Capture 10 enemy supply trucks. Oh, so we had to capture them to get more command stars. And then with command stars, you unlock new vehicles. Hmm. Get 500 points more than the enemy. I think I've, I think I've got a thousand more points the first time I played this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we did okay. So until next time, guys, I'll probably be doing a bit more war game European escalation. Depends how many likes this gets and how much you guys like it. Uh, but. I think I'll be continuing on with this because I completely understand that some of you are getting sick and tired of farming simulator and Euro truck simulator and all that. So I will be diversifying myself. It was just that farming simulator really took off over the last month. And, but now I do want to repay the guys that didn't like farming simulator and uh, give you guys something that you might enjoy. I think I'll be doing a bit more Anno as well in the upcoming days and months. Well, maybe not months, but in the upcoming days and weeks. But until next time, guys, I'll see you later.